Good evening. I'm Fox News's very own Patty Ann Brown. The show you're about to see contains images of a violent and graphic nature, particularly the segment where we engage in the blood-soaked pagan worship of Yubnub, God of the Harvest. Sensitive viewers are encouraged to switch over to the History Channel's latest documentary, entitled Some More Junk on World War II, where I'm told Hitler does something Hitlery and experts weigh in. And now, one girl and a cop. That's Paris's definition of charity work in Darfur. <laughs> Welcome to Red Eye. It's like the girls next door, only it's houseboys underground. I'm here tonight with Patty Ann Brown, Fox News Channel anchor. She is as captivating as I am cadaverous. And our next guest... We're sampling, exactly. Greg. Yes, yeah, we're exactly, sampling. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Patty Ann, do you, buy, do you buy his excuse that this was attributed, that, that it wasn't, he was doing it on purpose? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you, let's face it, nothing you're saying is actually your own, right? Isn't it all from, like, old transcripts of the McLaughlin? Yeah, yeah. How did you know? Yeah. Did you know? <laughs> All my stuff is like Kondraki 87. That's a good year, Kondraki 87. Like or maybe German. 81. Ah, now I've lost all of you. Bill, the weird thing is, it makes Governor Patrick actually sound like a far better candidate than Obama. He really owns Let's that Let's try and save I this, am, okay? I'm I wanna, method. I want to go to Pat. I'm method. I'm impressed. Right. Right. I am impressed. Now, yeah. pa Patty yeah. Ann, let me ask you, could Obama's Messiah complex finally be getting out of hand? I mean, he's, he is being treated like a god. Oh, he totally is. Like, like a rock star, there's definitely, with that Black Eyed Peas video out now, mm. and it, there's that whole element, and people are going to start throwing their bras at him, and, you know, mm. it's... That really lost a couple I could do that, yeah. <laughs> but then I would be, I'd just be a mess. Bill, is it possible? That Super cramped auditoriums and really humid gyms where people are waiting hours on end. I mean, I'm surprised that more people aren't fainting because they're just waiting in line so long to just see this magical... Ugh. I believe, I'm, oh, I believe I'm getting the vapors just thinking about it. Water, no, wait. water for Bill, please. No, I'm just high. <laughs> Excellent, I knew. All right, scientists are using preserved ear tissue from the dog. It says the chance of success is 25%, meaning I guess that they will be able to quarter, clone a quarter of the dog. Patty, Patty Ann, aren't we playing God with dog? which is God spelled backwards. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Very profound. Ooh. Thank you I just, very much. I wish we lived in the kind of world where there were enough dogs that you could just go to a certain place in every city and get a dog for free. I mean, you could call it, I don't know, like a dog that the case. Uh, but, Dare to know. dream. Dare to exactly. dream. But you know what, let me get Kira. Men losing the ability to do real work, are we all turning into mincing pretty boys who don't want to break our nails? Yes, and I think that people are sad about it. There's this book, The Dangerous Book for Boys, and yeah. it teaches men how to change a tire and pitch a tent and all that. And the idea is to give it to boys. I got one for my son. But it turns out that men are all buying it because none of them know how to do any of these things. And it, exactly. So true. I knew that. The minute that was a success, I'm like, it's nostalgic old dudes buying that. There's not one kid that's getting off as a... Uh, not just old dudes. You know, like younger guys. Yeah. Well, at least, don't you think that they should reintroduce... Gentlemen prefer blondes, especially if they used to be red-headed psychopaths with a penchant for booger sugar. Why do we have to have that, green, that big red thing there? Please. Here's Lindsay Lohan recreating Marilyn Monroe's famous last sitting nude photo shoot. Those classic shots were taken in 1962, and six weeks later, the blonde sex bomb was mauled to death by a bear. That's what I read on Wikipedia anyway. Now the same photographer has captured Lohan, and the pics appear in this week's New York magazine. That's a first for New York, I think. They never had naked ladies in yeah. there. Uh, Alicia, it seems to me that the magazine is trying to send a message that Lindsay Lohan is the new Marilyn. Yet Marilyn died six weeks later. Do you think Lindsay is getting the message that she may be dead in six weeks? I don't think so because if you read it she talks about God Heath Ledger, Marilyn Monroe. Oh my what to do. I don't think Lindsay's getting the message at all. Mm. Yeah. Now, Patty and Lindsay she, she is no Marilyn is she or is she something better? 
Uh, I don't know about better. I, I, she does look good in those shots, I have to say, but mm. I can't imagine why anybody would be channeling Marilyn. I mean, Anna Nicole did it, mm. died pretty much the same death. It's mm. insane. And also, it's not really practical right now because if Hillary becomes president, how is she going to sing Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Mrs. It just doesn't work. Sorry. <laughs> I just don't get it. Didn't even work. My choke didn't even work. Bill, I don't see the charm of Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> what I love most about the pictures are her breasts. They're oh, real. Oh, slow down. <laughs> You're okay, saying you're okay. for her exposed breasts. Yes, I, uh, Fox yeah, News I, alert. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, wait, no, let me finish. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm for breasts. They are retro breasts. They're like Barbie Bentons from 1977. They are not, what I'm saying is they are not fake. They are you real. Mean, you hang out with Greg. Those, those are not fake. No, they're definitely I'm not, not fake. Saying yeah. Yeah. They're they're not that's what I'm saying. It's like it's refreshing to see somebody who hasn't done that to themselves yet. Yeah. The 70s are definitely back. Um, unfortunately, she was wearing a bottom, so we couldn't see how unwaxed in the no. 70s the photo shoot really was. Thank you, Bill. But uh, right, also, I like on, the freckles. Shut up, Bill. I was trying. I think the slime's still on her. In the but, bottom end of a plunger. Yeah. Uh, she's flip, flailing she, around in the she, bottom end. She cannot do anything with any grace. That is just an awful, awful attempted at sexiness. Pa Patty Ann, she's 27 now. Is it time for her to cut this crap out and become an adult like she said she was? Oh, well, yeah. The, the part that I was waiting for in that video is the part where she she turns around and says, Mommy, the way she did in court that day. Yes, exactly. That's what blew it. I mean, she, you know. has no, she has no long-term or short-term memory. Kara, let me welcome back our lovely, <laughs> lovely ladies. Patty Ann Brown, Fox News Channel anchor. She is as delicious as I am despicable. Mm. Kira Sotanovich, comedian, an obedient husband. A new book says you should coach them like animals. Author Amy Sutherland got the idea after spending a year at an animal trainer school having sex with animals. No, I Whoa. just added that part. She says women should take the same approach trainers use to get killer whales to leap from their tanks and elephants to stand on their heads. For example, reward positive behavior. If your husband picks up just one dirty sock without being asked, give him lots of praise or a tasty fish. Patio, is, this is totally demeaning to men, right? Oh, I disagree. It works very well. I did it with my husband. Whenever he would leave the toilet seat up, I would take his head and stick his nose in it and say, no, no, and beat him with a newspaper. He doesn't do it anymore. Uh, so you married an actual dog. Fantastic. <laughs> Scary, too. Kira, what if a man wrote a book? Uh, hey, pa hey, Patty, is it true you spent some time working with the legendary Bob Buckman at Long Island's 102.3 WBAB? Uh, I'm not sure he's such a legend. Oh, but... oh he's a legend. <laughs> Sorry, he's a legend. Bob. If you grew up on Long Island, and who didn't? He's yes. a legend. <laughs> yeah, on Long Island, yeah. Yeah, and I, I did. I used to sometimes do the news during his uh, rock shows in the mornings during drive wow. time. So. Did you, were you doing that back when I was in high school? Uh, I don't want to get into ages here. That's a I'm thing. joking. I'm like 30 years older than you. <laughs> mm, you At least. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I'm told that I can rap. Very special thanks to PAB, Patty Ann Brown. Bill Schultz, he's lovely, delightful, and pathetic. And Alicia Quarles, oh. I have never seen that dress you're wearing. All the highlights in your hair that catch your eye.